Hey everybody, it's Tiger Rex here, and I um, um, hope you all have a great day. And this video has been requested by Twitch um, Glitch, I hope that's how um, it's pronounced. And he wanted me to do a comparison of my custom um, made T Rex and compare that one to the new one. So, um, great suggestion, and um, yeah, it's a, it will make for a good video. So, here we go. Um, so, for lengthwise, um, just trying to put them both. We'll do something like this, and we're also in a different place just because what I normally film is a little too hot for me. Um, so that's from tail to width. Um, their little, um, my custom one is just about a little more than a smidge shorter. Um, detail will go off of the head really quick if we look at our heads together. They both look pretty darn good. Uh, mine also has an articulating jaw. So they both can open. That's pretty cool. Nice, nice. Um, so we'll compare our nail, our claws next. Um, I have my claws all painted and stuff. That's just um, um yeah. Anyways, I've got the nails painted here. Um, I also um created a new method to making the arms. So all my new dinosaurs will have more of a this kind of um dimension design to them from now on. Alright, um, obviously mine's not as um, detailed or as articulated as the um, uh, Legacy T-Rex here. Anywho, um, mine is based off of the Lost World T-Rex and I gave it this um, gray color. It's got this gray underbelly with these stripes that go all the way down from the top of the snout here all the way down to the tip of the tail. Um, it's also thick and um, fully sealed here so nothing breaks. Um, legs don't move, arms don't move, and I can't, and I could have made the arms and legs move, but I just didn't feel like doing that. Only with the jars articulated, like that. And also from this side, I did mess up on the eye here. If you can notice, I was trying to um, circle around that, but it didn't work out fully that way. Um, okay, let's compare teeth-wise. Um, I actually, I like, I love this T-Rex, but I do like my teeth because these are, um, solid, um, white teeth and, um, sealed. They are made of cardboard, but they're, they are covered in paper and sealed up with Elmer's glue. So these teeth are never going to chip or, um, lose their whiteness. Unlike these teeth, which through my play and having fun with, will have, uh, eventually these kind of lose some of their, uh, color, which is a bit of a shame. Um... I do like that mine doesn't have any of these dots on the head, like if you look at the T-Rex here. It does have some little um, scuffs and different things that can be easily fixed. Um, not a whole lot to really compare to. The Thrasher can move and, you know, this T-Rex can move around and do all sorts of different things. Mine doesn't really have any of that and I don't really, um, oh, I'm not saying mine's better. <laughs> Because I don't think it is, but it is a nice T-Rex, and I do like them both together. They're actually, um, in size like this, they do look pretty good together. If I have this one with its mouth open, you know, that pretty cool. Have this one around, that looks pretty cool, like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so that's just a quick comparison of the two. I like them both. I do like the one I made. It's pretty neat. I love its eye. This one reminds me kind of a sharp tooth from, um... I mean, for time, I don't know why, but it just has that look. I don't know, maybe just the eye or something about this T-Rex um, has that look. I I do have the articulated jaws, you see here. And it's nice and sealed here, so you it, it's very nice covered up. I do like that. I love them both. Um, yeah, so that's just a quick comparison. And um, thank you for the suggestion of the review. And um, I look forward to seeing you all later on the next video. And um, until then, have a great day, and bye, everybody.